All right, I left the uh, Otway house and I'm heading to Harker's Island. It's about nine miles from the house. Uh, we're crossing a uh, we're crossing a bridge to get there. The Earl C. Davis Memorial Bridge. And uh, it is a drawbridge. There's people out there sunning and, and funning on the beach. Coming into a residential area and we're right on the water. There, these houses are right on the water on the island. Oh, look at that house, wow. I'm here at the very end now, and uh, they do have a little park here. You can see some other islands out there. And they have a museum and a visitor center over here. Here's a uh, Historic marker, Fort Hancock, erected in 1778 by Le Chevalier de Cambrai and Captain de Cotonou to protect Cape Lookout Bay. Dismantled in 1780. The site is four miles south. Well, here is the uh, where the ferry departs uh, from 8:15 in the morning every 30 minutes till 4:45 to Cape Lookout. the ferry. And here is the Cape Lookout National Seashore Visitor Center. And here we are inside the museum. Oh, what's your name? My name is Wendy. Hi, I'm Kathleen. I'm an interpretive ranger here. This is Cape Lookout National Seashore Park. We are on Harkers Island. 15 minute ferry ride across the back sound and you're out by the lighthouse. 207 steps to the top and well worth the climb. When you get there, the view is outstanding. At the time when it was completed, um, it was considered extremely high tech. The architect was Captain Whiting and uh, Cape Lookout Lighthouse is actually uh, the prototype for Cape Hatteras and also um, for Body Island Lighthouse. Cape Lookout National Seashore um, consists of three barrier islands. The first one is Shackleford Banks, um, and which is home to wild horses. The herd's around 108 um, horses right now. Uh, the lineage is about 400 years old. There's been four babies born um, here um, in 2015. The island is nine miles long. Um, the second barrier island of the 56, 56 miles for the National Seashore is um, South Core. That's um, where if you decide to go over there, um, you'll get to, to go to the lighthouse and see the lighthouse, but also um, where, where, the ocean, where the ocean meets the sound. Um, at Cape Point, um, absolutely a phenomenal uh, experience to get down there. As you travel up South Core, um, you're going to cross um, New Drum Inlet and get to our next barrier island, which is North Core. Um, at the end of North Core is Portsmouth, um, a historic village. Um, it was for over 200 years. It was home to people who made their living from the sea by shipping, piloting, fishing. All right, here's the uh, hall going down, and they show you a little bit about the Cape Light Lookout Lighthouse here. Pictures of it. They have exhibits, a nature trail, and they even have a theater. Uh, here's a picture of the island, painting of it. They also have a Core Sound Waterfowl Museum and Heritage Center. And here it is. Got a little drawbridge to go over a marsh. All right, well here, uh, 
They show you the work boats of Core Sound. For more than 200 years, the fishermen and boat builders of Core Sound communities have raised their families on the sea's bounty, building fishing boats from native trees. And here are some decoys. They have uh, videos. Here's another ship here. They have a decoy festival here. Well, my gosh, golly geez, this is three stories high. So we're taking an elevator to the second floor. And here it looks like they have uh, items from 13 villages around, around here. Portsmouth, Cape Lookout, Harker's Island, Salter Path. Oh gosh. Look at this, the Wink Rose boat building, an actual boat. All right, so here is a lookout. Wow. Cool. And you can see the lighthouse from here. Let's see if my camera can catch it here. There it is. Wow.